The Simpsons Hit and Run was a masterpiece when it came out. 20 years later, it still holds up pretty well. It's really just GTA plus The Simpsons, which on paper sounds like the coolest shit ever. Surprisingly, the game itself, yeah, ended up being the coolest shit ever. This game was GTA for kids, but this was back when GTA actually wasn't for kids. Hard to imagine now, isn't it? But despite that, there's still some surprisingly metal crimes, like surprisingly serious crimes. There's theft, vandalism, domestic abuse, murder, murder, murder. There's a lot of murder in this game. The only thing that hasn't aged well is the 3D cutscenes. They're pretty terrifying, honestly. But think about it. Have you ever seen The Simpsons look good in 3D? Even official Simpsons 3D models look weird. The cutscenes really are the only time that you're reminded, oh yeah, this game's 20 years old, isn't it? Because the graphics are so cartoony, they ended up aging very well. You notice that a lot of older games, the more stylized their graphics, the more they stand the test of time. The physics in this game are actually incredibly impressive for the time. I would actually say that they are on par with modern games. Take a look at this footage of Cyberpunk 2077 and tell me it's actually that much better from Simpsons Hit and Run. I have road rage and I know how to use it. I am so sick of this happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nerve. <laughs> It's the exact same feel. At least hit and run characters actually flay it around a bit. They actually move around a bit. They actually give a shit about being ran over. Listen, I'm not I'm not an expert at being hit with cars. I've only ever been hit with a car once and it wasn't that serious. But I'm just saying, if I got hit by a car, I feel like I would give more of a shit. There are three different maps in this game and you visit each one twice. Initially, everything is cheery and nice. It's all colorful. It's my favorite level, that first level. I think it's so great. It's such a great vibe, great music. It's just, it's fantastic. It's peak Simpsons hit and run. The second level I like a lot less. Compared to the first level, it feels like GTA 4. I love GTA 4, but going from happy Homer level to GTA 4, it's a bit jarring. I don't know. The second time you come back to this level, I don't understand why we play as a poo of all characters. Why not Grandpa Simpson? I'm here to play Simpsons hit and run, not fucking Nahasapima Petalon and run. I do like the character. I just thought it was odd that of all the Simpsons characters, we play as the Quickie Mart guy, even over members of the Simpsons family themselves. Oh yeah, the third level, Level is very cozy as well. I like the third level a lot, but they're all good. There's nothing wrong with any of them. Uh, there are clothes you can buy in the game, but they don't really affect gameplay in any way. They're just there for aesthetic purposes. Aesthetic purposes. The collectibles in this game, I don't know what it is, but they just look so enticing. They, they like glow and there's like this effect on them. They just look really important, like you have to get them. The problem is, the reward for finding them all is absolutely wank. You spend about two hours collecting them all, and then all you get is a shitty 3D ugly animation that lasts about one second. I don't think there's a single human on this planet that collected all of those, watched the animation, and then didn't just say, wait, is that it? Some missions in this game can get pretty hard, but thankfully with this game, the missions aren't very long at all, which is good because it makes failing and restarting not feel so daunting. If you're really struggling, there is an option to skip, um, but I'm afraid if you skipped a single mission, you haven't beat the game. Sorry. Missions are often the same, like, three tasks, repeated again and again, but for some reason I was just never bothered by it. Driving is fun, hearing the characters say their stupid stuff is fun, the timer keeps you engaged. It never bothered me. But that would probably be a big critique people have, is that lack of variety. The driving is surprisingly fun too. Something in interesting about this game is you can't really flip your car. Not really. It just kind of unflips itself. I don't mind it, honestly. So when I say it's like a GTA, I mean it's more of the classic older 3D GTAs like Vice City or GTA 3. Also, there's a good sense of progression with the car unlocks. Initially, all you get is absolute garbage, just the worst cars ever, giant trucks that nobody wants to drive. But then towards the laser part of the game, you start getting some really cool ones. It sounds like the kind of thing you go, oh yeah, no shit, of course it would be like that. But it's crazy how many games fail that basic sense of progression. Towards the last few levels, to increase the difficulty, they start spawning in these huge trucks that just completely stop your car if you crash into them. This game has a ton of flavor to it, a ton of color. Lots of gags, interesting interactions, interesting things to see, discover, destroy. Like, the levels aren't just empty. One of my favorite missions is the monkey torture mission. If you've never played the game, that's gonna be a weird sentence for you, but basically a bunch of monkeys escape the Neuralink Center, and Elon wants them back and I just thought it was fun. It's one of the few missions where you actually have to get out the car and do a bit of parkour and do some clever shit and I like the way they dance around. I think the characters are a big part of the fun. They just add like an extra flavor to everything. It's the same reason I liked High on Life. Even
even if you don't find the jokes funny, at least it's interesting, at least it's memorable. So many characters in games, the second they're off my screen, I completely forget everything about them because that's how little of an effect that they had on me. It seems like almost every character has some fun stuff that they say. For example, Ralph. Ralph does some of the races and his countdowns are terrible. Hello, little son of the police chief, little angel. <laughs> when you think about it, Ralph had the biggest character arc in the game. Three, two, one! I did it! I tapped it! So I really enjoyed it. Even today I think it holds up. If you enjoy The Simpsons and some of the older GTAs, definitely give it a go. It's only a short game anyway, it's only a couple hours. If you manage to finish the Homer level without having fun, it's probably not for you. But I think more than likely, you'll end up enjoying it. Go!